Tonight's Whiz Quiz contests are brought to you by the Tom All family of dealerships. Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai. The home of the Knock Your Socks Off deal. Road State College, committed to your success. RhodesState.edu. And by UB Hamburgers. The taste of Lima since 1928. Welcome back, everyone. Well, this is what we know. Ada High School will be moving on to the championship game next week. They beat Versailles in the first game today, and that was a score of Ada with 70 points, Versailles with 35. Now we have a game just starting between Shawnee and St. Mary's High Schools, and the winner of that will take on Ada next week. All right, we want to introduce you to the players joining us from Shawnee. We have Zach Zicardi, Eric New, Daniel Patricio Augusto, and Megana Chanamolu. And Shawnee is coached by Janice Drerup. Welcome back to all of you. All right, turning now to St. Mary's, we have Haven Hubble, Bailey Sparks, Gus Martin, and Frank Moots. St. Mary's is coached by Chad Dahl. Welcome, gentlemen. All right, do you know how this goes? We have 10 questions in this first round worth 10 points apiece. Everybody get the buzzers ready. And here we go. Question one, name the comic strip created by Gary Larson. Yes, St. Mary's. Dick Tracy. That is incorrect. Lima Shawnee, you want to try it? Yes. Garfield. Garfield is also incorrect. The far side is what we're looking for. What is the capital of the state of New Mexico? Yes, that would be St. Mary's. Santa Fe. Santa Fe is correct. In what game would you find rich uncle money bags? Yes, St. Mary's. Monopoly. Monopoly is correct. What nationality was the composer Chopin? St. Mary's. German. German is incorrect. Lima Shawnee. Yes. Portuguese. That is also incorrect. Polish is the answer. All right, question five. Who wrote the first detective story, Murders? Yes, that would be St. Mary's. Edgar Allan Poe. You are correct. On what famous road was the Apostle Paul converted? Time is up, teams. The answer is the Damascus Road. All right, number seven. Which, which Swedish scientist had a temperature scale named after him? Yes, St. Mary's. Fahrenheit. That is incorrect. Lima Shawnee. Yes. Calvin. That is also incorrect. Anders Celsius is the name. Thank you. All right, question eight. In Greek mythology, who was goddess of the rainbow? Yes, that would be Shawnee. Iris. Iris is correct. Which organ is responsible for regulating blood sugar level? Yes, Shawnee? The pancreas. Pancreas is correct. And here's your final question in your first round. What is the nickname given to Broadway in New York City? St. Mary's. Um. All right, you have a chance here, Shawnee. Yes. Uh, New Hollywood. That is incorrect. The answer is the Great White Way. All right, we've come to the end of round one in competition here. St. Mary's, you have 30 points, Shawnee with 20. St. Mary's, you're going to lead the second round. You have five questions. Please buzz in with the answers. They're all yours, though. Give the term for delaying a vote on a bill by talking. Yes. Filibuster. Filibuster is correct. Name the author of I Know Why the Caged Bird Sings. Yes. Maya Angelou. That is correct. Give the nickname of the Georgetown University sports teams. Yes. Bulldogs. Bulldogs is incorrect. That would be the Hoyas. What is the subtitle of the story, Peter Pan? 
Yes. A tale of growing up? That is incorrect. It's the boy who would not grow up. Question five, what is alloyed with steel to make it stainless? Yes, St. Mary's. Silver. Silver is incorrect. Chromium is the answer. All right, turning now to Lima Shawnee. Please buzz in with your answers. Who was Ann Sullivan's most famous pupil? Yes. Helen Keller. Helen Keller is correct. Mm -hmm. By what name was writer William Sidney Porter better known? Yes. Uh, Mark Twain. That is incorrect. The answer is O. Henry. Who is credited with discovering galaxies outside our own? Yes. Galileo. That is incorrect. Edwin Hubble is the oh, answer. All right, you have two questions remaining. In which river is the Boulder or Hoover Dam located? Yes. The Colorado River. That is correct. And you have your last question here. Name the plant that has flowers but no proper leaves. Yes. The tulip. That is incorrect. It's a cactus. All right, we've come to the end of our first two rounds. It is a close race here. Shawnee, you have 30 points. St. Mary's with 40. We'll be back with our final round right after the break. <laughs> 